Hello, I'm Pam Wright. And in this video, I'm going to take you through a gentle process to help you to increase your nervous system flexibility. And what do I mean by that? If our, if our comfort zone and our nervous system is, the, the, the comfort zone is basically telling us what our nervous system is conditioned for. You know, it's like, in, I can do this, this and this, and it's not triggering me that I'm unsafe, that I'm in danger, that the stress, the anxiety, it's like, this is familiar. And sometimes anything outside of that will trigger the nervous system into the fight, flight and freeze response. And if we're constantly staying in our nervous, our, our comfort zone and our nervous system is like this, that means that as the world constantly changes as it, as it does, our comfort zones actually get smaller and smaller. So what we need to do is we need to start to increase our comfort zones. Now, quite often when I say this, we're thinking about uh, stress and anxiety and worries and, and, and negative experiences. But in this video, I'm going to focus on the positives. I'm going to focus on the peaceful, the relaxed, the calm, because it is the same thing. If our nervous system conditioning is not conditioned for that, it's outside of our comfort zone to experience these feelings long-term or for extended periods then it triggers the fight, flight and freeze as well. In this process, we're going to get into state. And by getting into the state of this peaceful, calm, joyous, relaxed state, we're actually conditioning the nervous system so that the nervous system knows that it's safe to feel and experience these feelings. What we need to do is we just need to take a couple of breaths first. So just hand on your heart, taking some big, deep breaths down into the belly, but just long breaths. Excellent. Another long breath. Another long breath. Excellent. Now just gently tapping, holding one hand on your heart, just gently tapping, being peaceful, feeling calm. And I want you to step in to these words. Don't just repeat the words, experience the words. Allowing myself to be still. And then as we go down to the collarbone, just put your hand on your stomach, the other hand. Just gently tapping, doesn't have to be hard. Knowing that I am safe right now. Relaxing. Feeling peaceful. Being calm. Relaxing down. Excellent. Your hand just goes down to your stomach. That's right. Allowing yourself, allowing myself to be still. Okay. 
back in. Feeling the well being. Being relaxed. Allowing myself to be calm, relaxed, and still. Knowing. I am safe right now. Okay, hands on your heart, taking three deep breaths. Okay, just checking in. How does that feel? Notice how calm you feel now. Okay, we're going to do some more rounds. So, a round is three deep breaths. <sighs> Breathing down into your belly. By breathing down into your belly, you're switching off the fight, flight, or freeze response. Excellent. Then just gently tapping, feeling content, being grateful. Allowing that gratitude. Allowing yourself, allowing myself to be relaxed, peaceful, filled with well being. Hand on your stomach. Knowing I am safe right now. Okay, grab the wrist. So by continuing to practice these states of being, it then allows the body to experience them states of being. I've heard for many years that let's say people try and meditate and they meditate and they can only do it for about five minutes and they just can't sit there. And, and that's because something within their body is triggering them that it's unsafe. But by practicing these states on a regular basis, we are then increasing our nervous system flexibility. It starts to know it's okay to be calm and peaceful and it's okay to be a little bit stressed, a little bit anxious. It expands that comfort zone. So we're not constantly being triggered by our fight, flight and freeze. Hope this helps. Comment below, subscribe if you like the videos or if you have any videos that you would really like me to produce, let me know.